Hey folks, 828 Find Adventure here. I finally broke down and got the TRD Pro grill insert. It goes in the middle where the honeycomb section is and has the Toyota letters on it. I had the sport grill because that was the only grill I could find with the silver surround. Because originally my truck came with this giant chrome behemoth that I just couldn't stand to look at. That's just me. That's just me. No, no offense to anyone who loves the chrome because it does shine up really nice when you wash it. But so anyways, I got the TRD Pro insert and I'm going to install it. So let's go check that thing out. Okay, guys, let's see what I got in this box here. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've kind of been putting it off. Didn't really know if I wanted to have a grill that looked like everybody else's, but I finally broke down and got one. There it is. It is a grill insert. Basically a TRD Pro grill is what it's going to look like right now. I have a TRD Sport grill. That's what that is. And it's painted from the factory in the exact same color, which is why it matches so good in the silver. You can get them in whatever color the sports came in. But, you know, my truck's silver, that's what I got. My problem with this grill is it has a nice look. I like this color here. I don't like this big emblem. This big emblem being chrome, I know it's a TSS, I think that's what a Toyota Safety Sense uh, thing. It just really annoys me, but you know, I could probably live with it, but I'd probably have to do some matte black over this or something. Um, otherwise, I mean, the grill looks good. It sure looks a heck of a lot better than that giant chrome thing that used to be on it when I got the truck. But let's go back here. Let's go back again and check this out. So here we go. So this is the grill insert. I will be bolting this inside of the silver outer ring that's on my TRD Sport grill. I also have letters to go right here. And I have a little hatch cover that goes here. This is uh, very well made. I mean, this is, the quality is really good. The plastic quality is good and everything. This is like, this is good stuff here. I like it. I don't have any Raptor lights for it. I don't know that I would use those. They don't really serve a function. Maybe I'll put some other type of lights behind the grill eventually. But let's go ahead and uh, let's get those letters put in and then let's look at it. Also, let me show you this. On the back side of this, you've got these tabs. These are the ones that hook inside of the grill that you have to, that are the hardest to uh, undo when you're uh, taking your grill off your vehicle. So these tabs here, and you need to be careful. They gave me some protective, protective foam to go on there. Also note, when you order this grill, they will send this part first, the big part, and then secondly, and then you have these little screws here. You have all the light, I mean, I'm sorry, all the letters here. And I got them in like a gray metallic. You also have this hatch here which goes here, just like the factory grill. This is really nice. They did a good job. The quality's really good on this. So, let's go ahead and put some letters on this thing. There might be an easier way to do this, but this is how I'm doing it. There it is, folks. The TRD Pro Grill. You have this hatch to go on top here. Let's see how that fits on. And then in this box right here, let me show you that. It comes in the box with the grill. It is the garnish. Should be, yeah, there we go. We got a couple of tabs there. We got the garnish here. Check that out. You think folks, pretty cool? Yeah, pretty cool. Can't wait to get this mounted, so let's go do it. So the first thing you do is remove the grill. Once 
gonna take this door off right here, just like that. Comes right unplugged. You wanna unplug this. This goes to the TSS sensor. And then you, you lift up like that. You just lift up like this. Now the key is getting this part undone. These two little hooks down here are the hardest part to get. Something I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a couple of rags under there. There we go. It's a little difficult. I just used a screwdriver to push down on those tabs from the inside, and that seems to break them loose. Now what we're gonna have to do is remove the TSS sensor from this. So remember, this has to be removed and swapped over to the new grill, along with the outer piece. It goes all the way around. I do have another video that shows you about grill removal and swapping over the uh, TSS sensor. I did that when I got my new grill. These right here need to come out. Keep all of those together. Now, of course, plastic is brittle, so be careful. That'll enable me to Pop this little thing out. There we go. Now I have one more. Looks like I have another one right here. Have everything out. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this Toyota emblem back in. Like that. Now plastic is very, very brittle. So be careful doing this. Okay, now it appears to get the silver part out, I'm gonna have to do all these little tabs all the way around here. I remember doing this on the Tacoma and they break. So we have to be very careful. But it looks like I got all the other screws out. And these tabs should be the thing. Well, there you go, I finally got the silver trim off. And there it is. I only broke one tab, which I uh, feel pretty lucky. They were really jammed in there, good. Next step is to attach the silver trim to the TRD Pro grill. So let's do that. Now you put the grill surround around the TRD Pro grill and you just reassemble it. Got those, now I've got to do these. I'm not sure their purpose, but we will do them. It's pretty easy so far. Only broke a couple of tabs. All right. 
in this box here is the garnish. And a couple of little uh, fasteners like this. Okay, so one thing we want to do is we want to put these in first, these little things here. And here you go, don't forget to put this on, plug in your TSS. You see here. The, uh, the one off the uh, TRD Sport Grill uh, had a better fit. But let me see here, maybe I can fix this a little bit. Nope, plastic's too brittle, don't try to fix it. So I'm gonna try to use this one. That works good, there we go. We make sure the hood closes good. I think that looks really good. The only problems I had were, you know, a few of the tabs breaking off. Other than that, you know, give yourself an hour to do it, to take the old one off, put the new one on. You know, make sure you put out a blanket, have some tools. The longest part of this was separating the surround in silver from the uh, TRD Sport Grill. Uh, getting those tabs undone uh, took a while. I had to shim it as I went along so they wouldn't snap back in. Uh, I did end up breaking a few of them, but that's just what happens. Works great. Everything's working as should. Well, folks, I got the TRD Pro grill insert all put in and assembled. I did break a few tabs putting it in, but other than that, it went in. It was pretty self-explanatory. Removed some screws, placed some screws, just some broken tabs. That was it. The TSS sensor, I was a little nervous about relocating that. Works fine. Did a good job. Other than that, I think the grill looks sharp. Gives the truck kind of a new look on the front end. I do like that it's got these Toyota letters. I got these in the dark gray metallic. Other than that, there it is. It's on there, it's stable, it's a good fit. It looks really good. But anyways, that's all I got for you today. If you would, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. 
It really does help the channel grow. It kind of motivates me to make more videos. And I've got some other things coming for this Tundra real soon. I'm gonna try to release a video as fast as I can get them out. Might be one a week, might be two a week. But anyways, that's where I'm at right now. And I will see you soon. See ya.